If the jigsaw is the only tool that you have to make long straight cuts, then let me give you a few tips that'll make those cuts look their best. Starting off with the first thing, you need to use the right blade. Stay away from thin and small blades used for cutting curves or scrolling. Don't use a blade with an aggressive cut like the one I have here, which is a six TPI, which is six teeth per inch. But use something more like a 10 or even a 14 TPI, and it needs to be thick. Look at the difference in thickness between this blade and this one. You can see that the thicker blade is not going to bend as much as the thinner blade, resulting in a better cut when you're making those long rip cuts. Second, if you can, cut on the back side of the wood and not on the finished side. You see, when using normal blades, the jigsaw cuts on the upstroke, which creates tear out on the side that you're cutting on. Therefore, if you cut on the back side, the tear out will be on the bottom and not on the finished side that you're gonna see. To get the best results making a long straight cut, you need to use something straight as a guide for the saw to ride against. So it could be something as simple as a piece of board, a specialty clamp, but whatever it is that you use, you need to make sure that it's straight because your cut depends on it. There's at least two different ways to set the proper distance between the straight edge and your cut line. And I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest one. I first like to make my measurement. And for this example, I'm going with two inches. Then I make a mark right on the edge of the material itself. Now I know I want this to be my finished piece, so I simply line up the blade on the right side of my pencil mark. Then I make another pencil mark right on the right side of the shoe. Now I take the measurement from the edge of the material to my new line, which is like three and five eighths here, maybe a little strong. Then I simply go to the other end and mark at three and five eighths. With that now complete, I can go ahead and clamp my straight edge right to those lines, just covering the lines. And I'll use one clamp on this end, just covered in line, and another clamp on this end. Most of the time, if you're gonna make a mistake, it's either gonna be at the beginning of the cut or at the end of the cut. So to help eliminate that, make sure that your straight edge is longer than the workpiece itself so that you have plenty enough room to line up the saw with the straight edge before you actually start to make the cut. And then on the out feed side, same thing. Make sure the board is long enough so that you continue to make the cut along the edge of the straight edge as you exit the material. Well, the last tip I have for you is that once you start your cut, be sure to finish it. Stops and starts only affect the cut in a negative way by creating jagged lines or even accidental bevels just because of the way the blade gets started back in the cut again. So be sure that start it, get all the way through to the end, be consistent with your feed rate, and you'll be very pleased with the cut that you get from the jigsaw. So that's it for today's video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Until we see each other again, be well and stay safe.